Welcome to our video series about the EQ Lighting Application Suite. And today I will show you the Action Pad. The Action Pad is a graphical user interface for the programmer that can be used for end users to control the system and to control the show. The Action Pad realizes an interface for an end user and allows direct access to all functions and features that are used for control in the programmer. The action pad can run on the system that runs the programmer. It can be used on a remote PC in the same network using a web browser and there are even apps available for iOS devices like the iPad or the iPhone and an app for Android devices which are running over wireless LAN and access the programmer and show the action pad to control your show. To control the show, you have various elements. For example, you have buttons where you can start and stop shows and you can use buttons to control the programmer. For example, cancel or running queue lists. You can freeze or you can set the programmer to hibern hibernate state. You have faders which can control the overall brightness. You can have sub faders for controlling groups of devices or effect speeds and so on. There's also a color picker available where you can pick a color and map the three color channels RGB to different versatile masters to create a color selection for your show. There's a system menu available here in this case, everything or nearly everything is allowed. For example, system reboot, system shutdown. You can run the action pad in full screen mode and so on and so on. You can lock out the user. You can limit the system menu or the whole availability of the system menu to hide these system functions from the end user. You can have several pages, different pages with faders to select colors. Here we have a second type of color picker where you can select colors and you can start the action pad together with the programmer at system startup time to provide a single point of control for the programmer. Let us now see how to create these pages in the action pad. And for creating a new page I will switch to edit mode and in edit mode you can see that there are several elements like faders, color pickers and buttons. To add a new page I select add page and our new page is created. The properties of the page can be controlled with this little cogwheel and clicking the cogwheel I can select a name for the page. I can select a background color and I can even use an external image as a background for my action patch page. I will now insert control elements. I can insert various types of buttons, I can insert faders, I can select two types of color pickers, cue list controls and for example text. Let's add a generic button. This is now a button and to set the properties of the button I double click the button and the properties dialog opens. In this dialog I can set the parameters of the button. For example I can use another lookalike. I can set active and inactive background and border color. I can add an indicator, I can select the font and the size and I can add a text shadow or disable the text shadow. The state control controls the behavior of the button if it is a push button or a toggle button or an automatic button. Here now is my button with the 
selected image. And what I have to do is I have to assign an action to the button, so control what the button will do when it is clicked. And this is made with the two action tabs in the properties dialog. For example, let's say this button will start a queue list and the started queue list will be queue list number three. And the action is play the queue list. And if I want to create another look-alike of the button, I can use background and foreground images for the button as we saw it on the first page. Let us now add a fader. I select fader and I draw by keeping the left mouse button clicked. I draw a fader and also this fader can have many parameters. For example, I assign this fader to a versatile master, to the versatile master number three. Again, like with the buttons, I can use for the fader external images to use. And in this way, I can create my action pad pages. I cannot show all, all the details and all the possibilities of the action pad. Please have a look at the menu for a complete description. To go back into action mode, I click the hat symbol again and here now I have my action pad pages. A very helpful feature of the action pad is the use of auto text. Let's go back to our new page and get back to edit mode. I will now insert a text area and this could be simple text. Double clicking to get the properties dialog. I have a button here in the properties dialog which is called auto text and with auto text I can insert many many system and programmer variables and parameters into this text field. I can even insert a complete selection of RDM values. Let's take a simple example here. Let's select the current time. And now I have display of the system time in the action pad. In this way I can build an end user interface for the programmer, for controlling shows, for controlling masters, without direct access to the programmer and, if wanted, even without access to system functions. The action pad is available from the programmer over this symbol which shows the action pad in the programmer.